Okay, let me give you guys another example. So here, find the limit of this. Um, just like in the previous video, you might be tempted to um, to use this technique where where you get a number on top of um, on top of let's say x squared here, and when x heads towards infinity, then the whole thing here tends to zero. You might be tempted, just like in the previous video, to um, to get to to somehow get a number over x here, and when x tends to to infinity, then the whole thing tends to zero. You you might be tempted to use that technique. Okay, okay, let's let's use that technique on this one here. So here, um, uh, so here you've got a bubble here, uh, over this bubble here. So let's let's divide everything by the highest power. This well, this here is just x to the power of one, x to the power of one. This is x to the power of two. So let's divide let's divide top and bottom by um, by x to the power of two, okay. So, um, so what what you have is um, is this. Hang on. Um, is is uh, x squared over x squared. That's um, that's this term here, and then you've got plus plus um, well four x over x squared. So that's um, that's four four over x. Okay, four over x, and uh, and then you've got five plus five over x squared. Okay, so so that's this whole bubble here divided by divided by this. Now this bottom bit, this uh, x divided by x squared. So that that will mean it's one over x minus um, one over x squared. Okay, so so the limit of this, uh, as x tends to infinity, now you see this here, this 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 term here is just one. Okay, so because x squared over x squared is one. So hang on, let me put one in here. Oops, let me put one in here. So um so this well as x tends to infinity here, um so so when you have Four divided by nine, 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 nine. Then, then, then you can say this whole term here tends to zero. Um, this whole term here also tends to zero. This here. So, so basically, you've got uh, on the top, you've got um, you've got one over, and then this term here is uh, is zero, and then take away this term here will be zero. So, uh, sorry, zero here. So, um, so this is like one, one. Over zero. Now you could be tempted to to use that argument where where the limit of this, the limit of this is a number. There is a definite limit here, and the the, the limit here is a number other than zero. And the bot the uh, the denominator here um, has a limit of zero. You could be tempted to um, to use this argument here where 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 you say well. When you get to this stage here, one, one over zero here, the limit is one over zero. You could be tempted to say, oh, the limit of this is is a definite limit other than zero. The limit of the bottom one is a um, is a is a is a zero. So you could be tempted to say that, oh, the limit here does not exist. Well, you well here we, we we've got to a stage where we have one over zero, and then. You could be tempted to use this um, this theorem here. Hang on, this theorem here, which I've I've stated many times in the past, where where if you have a, a a quotient here and this has a limit other than zero and this here has a limit of zero, then 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 you can say that here the limit do, uh, does not exist. Well, you see, this theorem here is good when uh, when 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 the limit is heading towards one specific point, here the this theorem here breaks down because because our limit is towards infinity. So so you can't use this on, on you you can't use this argument to to say that oh well we we got to a stage where well we have one over zero. You can't use this you can't use this argument on on this here and say that, oh the limit does not exist. The limit of this does exist. Okay, but but you you just can't use when you get to this stage here, you can't use this argument here and say that the limit does not exist because this is this theorem is saying that it heads towards one specific point. 
when it comes to to you evaluating a limit heading towards infinity, um, you, you have to use the ho you have to use something totally different. Okay, so so you can't use this argument here. Well, anyway, to do this here, I guess you have to use. Hang on, to do this here, you, to to work out the limit of this, you you have to use your gut instinct here. So um so here, looking at this here, so you've got this bubble over this bubble here. When x heads towards infinity, now. When x heads towards infinity, looking at the top part only, this part here is is dominant. You can pretty much ignore ignore these these uh, these two. So so looking at this here, when when x heads towards nine 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 nine, you can pretty much ignore these these two and just just concentrate on this. Okay. Now looking at the bottom part. When x heads towards infinity, meaning when x heads towards nine 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 and so on, you, you can pretty much ignore this take away one. Because well when x heads towards infinity, it's going to be this term that dominates on the top and this term that dominates at the bottom. So you could you could um well you've got to use your instinct, your your gut instinct here. So really this whole complicated thing here boils down to, to this. Okay, and um, and then here you've got um, x squared. Of, well, this this bit here is going to climb. It's it's going to get bigger a lot faster than this. So you can say that the limit of this, the the limit of um, of of this here, as x tends towards infinity, you can actually say it heads towards infinity. So so the limit here. Is uh, is infinity because again it's, it's using your gut instinct. This bit here climbs a lot faster than than this bit here. So you can well, it's like you having this. Hang on, x to the power of five over x to the power of uh, of three. Now, when when the limit of this, when x tends towards infinity, because this is going to be so 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 much bigger than this one here, you can say the overall thing here. Um, well. The limit of the overall thing will head towards infinity. Okay. Uh, again, it's just using your gut instinct. Okay.